We made a movie service earlier and we're just still returning the plain old array and we're calling the movie service directly and setting that return data to this.movies, the local variable of our component. But when we're calling services, usually we're not getting immediate results like this or synchronous code. Usually we're dealing with REST services, maybe fetching data from a remote server, and these operations can complete at a later time. So we call these asynchronous actions. You might be more familiar with handling asynchronous actions by using callback functions, or if you're coming from Angular 1, we use promises a lot to handle these things. But in the new Angular built on TypeScript, we're using what's called an observable. Now, observable data streams are much more of a pattern than they are a specific library or an SDK to handle asynchronous programming. And you can do this on the front end or the back end on a lot of different environments. So it's not a front end thing. Although there's libraries written by ReactiveX to help you implement these patterns in different platforms. So let's do a quick example here in Angular and we'll import observable from RxJS. This is the JavaScript library from ReactiveX and it comes as a dependency in your Angular application. So you already have this when you install Angular or spin up a new Angular app. So we'll create a new observable here in our app component and we will call the create method of the observable object. And the create method gets passed an observer function. And this observer function is primarily concerned with updating the stream, completing the stream or airing the stream. So we have these methods of next, completed and error on our observer function. So to start off, I'm gonna say observer.next start processing. So I'm gonna spit out a value of saying start processing this process. And then I'm gonna make a set timeout function here just to simulate some delay in time. And then I'm gonna call observer.next, still processing. So the next method here is going to constantly spit out the new data or the new events that happen in our stream. And then the set timeout on the final one, I'll set to five seconds and then I'll complete the stream with the complete method. And so now we have an observable created and that we can actually subscribe to and listen for these changes that are happening within the observable stream. Next, I'll go into the on init function down here because when the component initializes, I'll start to subscribe to that observable we just created. So when you make observables, you subscribe to those changes that are happening. And in that observable, you can get the data or the next function here, or you can catch the error, or you can even catch the completed event that gets fired. So there's three methods here you can hook into and I'll just on the complete, I'll just log that the process was finished. So we see it starts processing and then later it's still processing and then the process completed. And so I'll actually add another line here of console.log component initialized. So you can just see how the component initialized will be called in first and then the other two later. So we get still processing and component initialized right off the bat. And then later we get still processing, then process completed. And you'll notice in the on init that the observable.subscribe is called first and then the component initialize second, yet we get the still processing in the completed later on after we've already passed component initialized because in our subscribe method, we're just constantly logging out the next value. And we can even log out the error value if we throw an error within our observable. So we say observable or observer.error issues, we should trigger the error function instead. And we see issues down there. So back in our movie list example, we can actually simulate our movie array as an observable if we just use this little of utility that we get from RxJS. So import of from RxJS forward slash lowercase observable forward slash of. And then down to the movies, we'll just wrap the movies in the of utility here. And so this is going to cause our array to kind of return as an observable. So if we go into our list component and hover over get top rated, we can see it's trying to return an observable of name and is fresh, an array of these objects. So since we change this to return an observable, we can no longer call it like a synchronous event like we are here right now. So we'll say this movies.service.gettoprated.subscribe because then it's observable, and then we'll get the data that it's returning from the next method. And so we'll say this.movies equal data, and we still get our list that we defined earlier.